finding some lost money almost always makes your day. But what happens when that money is lost from the 1800s and you found it in a Kentucky cornfield? Wave News reporter David Mattingly has a story of what's being called the Great Kentucky Hoard. This is more than just a discovery of rare coins. It is a compelling mystery from desperate times over a century and a half ago. There are more than 700 rare U.S. gold coins dating from 1840 to 1862, and they've become one of the greatest coin collecting finds of the 21st century. Unearthed recently in a Kentucky cornfield, these coins are estimated at a value exceeding $2 million. An extremely rare find as buried treasures go, rarer still to find them in such good condition. Uh, underneath were just these phenomenally beautiful uh, preserved coins. Um, and I think they were preserved so well because they weren't exposed to air and they were uh, buried in the ground. The mystery of how they landed in that Kentucky cornfield promotes speculation. One likely scenario has a wealthy Kentuckian burying his wealth to hide it from an advancing Confederate army. If you had a lot of money, historically you buried it. Banks were good, they robbed the banks. You had to find a place that was secure and most times throughout history, people bury money. What happens if you bury money and you get killed? It stays in the ground. Why the owner failed to return is unknown. And 160 years later, new questions arise. Adding to the mystery is the secrecy surrounding the discovery itself. We don't know the name of the man who found the coins. We also don't know exactly where he found them or how he found them. That information is being withheld. Regardless, this is one Kentucky cash crop that is getting a lot of attention. A priceless story about a highly improbable find. And all of the coins are now on the market. The money they are expected to make is expected to be just as interesting as the story behind them. David Mattingly, Wave News.